title screen music is really simple, but also very cool. I love it. All right, we're back here. I just know. How are you doing today? Thanks again for the gift of age today. That's very kind. Looking forward to getting into that. Uh, we. Oh yeah. We were gonna. We were assaulting a battleship, which has cost us one soldier. A good one too. I hated that. Made me very sad. It's very sad indeed. You woke up two and a half hours ago. Holy cow! Holy cow! How late did you stay up? Oh shoot! I see something already. Uh, I think this. And I'm doing great, by the way. <clears throat> I feel pretty rested, even though, even though, uh, you know, I've stayed up a little later than I usually did, which is something I have a bad habit of doing when I get a three-day weekend or something. 3 a.m., my God, I don't remember the last time I stayed up till 3 a.m. Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Um, uh, <clears throat> you're, you're enjoying that pretty well then, I guess. I've seen bits and pieces of it. Uh, they did a really good job on, on, uh, making that game look good. I'll give them that much. I think this is somebody we've had in our little brain clutches before. I don't believe he has a weapon. I think... I think we can make use of them. It's enjoyable, but is a Final Fantasy game and you have your problems with it now. Um, I will say that I have my problems with modern Final Fantasy games. It felt like that starting with 7 and moving on from there, the games became much more movies than games. And maybe I'm just an old fuddy-duddy, but the Final Fantasy series sort of lost its luster at that point for me I didn't mind it so much in 7 my goodness that took a lot to get this guy's attention uh, he's an ethereal leader he has no weapons that's probably his gun right there let's move this guy over here let's mosey him along I'm pretty sure is that my phone making noise it sure is why why must you make noise phone nobody nobody wants to to hear you talk right now <clears throat> let me put you there where you won't make as much noise uh, anyway I miss the old turn-based games, you know how it is. It's what I grew up with. I don't have reserve for snapshot enabled, which is fine. What do you mean I can't pick this up? Two time units is plenty. Actually, it's not nearly enough. <laughs> Yeah, we were at like the end of the turn. Uh, seven ring make is definitely too modern. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see that. 
original aged too poorly and the remake is too modern. Yeah. Kind of in the middle there. I would probably... <clears throat> See, 7 landed in that time period where 3D graphics were the new thing. And... They were... They were passable at the time. <clears throat> but... You know how it is. These days, it doesn't quite cut it. People with big clubs for hands. <laughs> doesn't pass muster anymore. Um, you know, Philip Bailey the second. Move you up here. Leave you there. Ursula's no movement points. Howdy, Skull. How are things doing for you today, Skull? I don't have sight of anybody else here. <clears throat> so, I don't think there are any armed aliens left outside the ship. I think it might just be this guy. Forgot your project was due today. Well, I hope you got that taken care of. <laughs> That's rough, dude. So a battleship. Battleships are big. Battleships are big. Um... We killed a sectopod in here. We haven't seen any others. Oh. Oh, you've done the work. You just haven't turned it in, basically. Yeah, that's fine. Then. You're fine. We've already made some progress on the interior here. These pods here contain Illyrium, and if I recall right, this was a landed battleship. We swooped in and attacked. But anyway, that's all we can do this turn, so let's go. Okay, they're hitting Stefan. Stephanie, Stephan. We're hitting this person here pretty heavy. With the psionic attacks. Their psionic streak 78. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, they were hitting somebody else too. I think they were hitting Ania here. 76. Almost as good. But here's the problem. I feel like there's... This is a battleship, so there's probably going to be an ethereal commander up in here somewhere. They're pretty stout psionicists. If that's even a word. How's the alias thing going so far? Pretty dang good. Uh, this mission isn't the best. We lost a soldier. At this stage in the game, you don't... Don't want to lose soldiers. That's Those are hard hits to take. Because the guys we got now, they are... The top dogs. Our elites. Losing them really sucks. Uh, you're right here. But we have the power of psionics on our side now. So, I would even kind of say, there we go, the game sort of trivializes 
once you get powerful psionic soldiers. And we've spent a few missions training our psionic soldiers here, and now we can even fairly easily take control of ethereals. And I mean, we even took control of a sectopod. And they are the hardest things to mind control in the game. So if we're doing that, then we're in pretty good shape. I feel like that once we get the Avenger built and we get this commander captured, assuming there is one here, which I'm almost certain there is, this guy's just a soldier, then... Then we're pretty much ready to finish the game at that point. And one of the big reasons mind control sort of trivializes the game is because you can do this bit of cheese right here. Uh, do you keep the mind control characters permanently? No. Sort of no. Um, mind control is only good for one turn. However, if I mind control every alien that's left on the map, then it ends the mission and those aliens are captured. So in that sense, yes. So I'm cheesing it a bit. Aliens don't know how to pick up guns. So when I throw them on the floor, I think there's actually a setting I can I can set to have them pick up guns, but yeah, that all has to happen in one turn. But there's only one alien I really care about capturing, and that's a commander. Um, <clears throat> you want to capture a navigator, a leader, and a commander throughout the course of the game. We, we got lucky and got our navigator ages and ages and ages ago. Um, we got our leader some time ago. And now we're after our commander, which is one of the reasons I wanted to take on a battleship. Because battleships often have commanders on them. Um, one nasty thing that commanders can do, though, and some of the other guys on this ship, is they'll have blaster launchers. Blaster launchers are very powerful weapons. Um, they generally won't use them inside a ship, which is super good. Don't want that to happen. Can I get this over here? No, okay. Oh, come over here then. I'll bring the tank over here. we can do this turn. We just want to keep using the ethereals as our scouts to keep our own guys safe. Ooh. Well, we lost our buddy there. Oh, Stephanie has panicked. They, uh, if they're getting through 78 psionic strength, that's probably a commander doing that. Um, that sucks. Uh, that's okay, I think. What really sucks is they killed my buddy in here. Ursula's got Sonic Strength 90. Not a big chance they're gonna 
mind control her. Okay, we got a uh, guy here. He's got a gun. So these guys, these guys don't practice pop proper proper weapon uh, responsibility. They like to shoot these guns. This. You can drop this. You don't need those. Actually, pop your head out of here. Ah, dang, you're out of movement points. You sorry, sucker. <laughs> All right. Well, it's one less guy with a gun. I guess that's good. You know what? You pop out. You get out of here for a second. All right. What turn is it? That would be good information to have. Fourteen. Okay. Gone berserk. That's okay. She don't have a gun, so she's not going to do any damage. She's going berserk. Risky move of the day. Now these lift pads here only go down. They go down into these feet. And I don't think there's anything in those feet. What I'm worried about is running into another sectopod in here. Really worried about is running into another guy with a gun in here. Alright, I'm a little too committed now, but oh well. Okay, now we got somebody in the hallway with this, but I think it's somebody that doesn't have a weapon. Stephanie's having problems with morale because they're hitting her with morale chits. So. Let's give them the business with the brain play. <laughs> anybody in here um yeah let's bring you down here so wait, let's keep you right there we're gonna use you next turn this may take us past turn 20 I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but turn 20, all the aliens know exactly where you are. And they will come for you. They get the magical ability to see where every one of your soldiers is. Okay, they keep hitting Stephanie because they know... She's. I'm able to move her again, but I don't want her to pick up a weapon because she's. Uh, she's fallen under their spell. Oh, there's another one right here. That's good.
Do you have a gun? You do have a gun. You don't... You don't need that. Alright, these are both soldiers. That makes this guy... Expendable. <clears throat> Alright, throw this stuff down. Now, this is your new friend. You're gonna run around with him for a little while. Oh, that's just a big empty room with, a, with no door even. Interesting. It's been a long time since I've seen the interior of a battleship. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to give this floor a good once over. See, now that it's the next turn, he's reverted. Reverted back to alien control, but he knows who's in charge around here now. Right, we're going to leave him there. We're going to come around this way. Still working old Stefan over there. Yeah. Well, on the on the bright side, this is building up their resistance. So maybe that won't be as much of a problem the next time we encounter those issues. So this is, oh, there's another one right here. This area here is sort of their entertainment center. They just stare at these panels and it, it gives them sort of a hallucinogenic effect. Okay, we've, uh, we've played with this guy before. He's been our friend before. He doesn't have a gun. So we got two friends now. They're going to stand on this bed. And wait right there. Is that the disco room? Kind of. That's their little entertainment room. Oh, they're trying to hit this guy now. Ninety. I think we looked at that before. Ought to be fine with a ninety. Ought to be fine. Okay, got that one. Actually, you know what? Oh, he lived. I don't need that one anymore. I hope. Hopefully, even. And with nine, isn't going to be a mistake. Move him back over here. <clears throat> also, once an alien sees a soldier, 
they know that soldier's there for several turns. Even if that soldier moves, they know the location of that soldier for several turns afterwards before they lose sight of him. So the aliens have certain advantages over your regular troops. It's turn 19. This next turn, things are going to start getting hairy. I don't think there's aliens in here. Let's, oh, we see somebody up here. Oh no, that's me seeing that guy, dummy. Let's send you up. Check out the hallways. We see somebody here. I feel like that's somebody we've had contact with. I don't think they've got a weapon. Yeah, that's another ethereal soldier. You go stand here. You... Make your way this way. You... Really hope there's not an alien in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure we got this floor cleared. Reasonably certain. Stand there for a bit. So when I say they uh, they stay yours for one turn, that is, they stay yours for the, and their their time units refill when you take control of them. So you can use them on your turn, and then they remain yours for the remainder of the alien turn. In the beginning of your next turn, they revert. This guy here, he's got a blaster launcher. That is bad news. There he is. There's our alien commander. We want to keep this guy alive. Put that down. Stand in this corner where I know where you're at. Uh, let's see. Can I make it over here? Yes. Walk over here. You stand here. It's probably a really bad idea. You stand here. Probably also a bad idea, but whatever. We will all get over it. Alright. 
that one. Got this one. There's the important one. figure out what I want to do exactly. I want you to go over here. Alright, you got no more vision for me. <clears throat> You're gonna go in here. You're gonna hang out with this guy. Matter of fact, you're going to get the stun rod ready. You... Check in here. Nothing. Okay, somebody was on that second level. was somebody on that second level, but thankfully, they didn't have a weapon. Okay. had him good and stunned. Almost. You? Interesting. He got hit with a <clears throat> a stun bomb and it didn't phase him. We don't really need you around. I think he was hiding around in here, or maybe he was hiding in one of these places. Stand on the other side of all this equipment, so when one pops out of here... <clears throat> it kind of scared me when that bomb went off, because I, I thought it was one of these guys using a blaster launcher. That would have been... bad times. Okay... Um, I kind of forgot about all these guys down here. Nicole, 72 psionic strength. That guy's got a gun. Somebody take care of that guy. <laughs> Aerial leader. Blaster launcher. You do not need a blaster launcher. That's like the last thing you need. Oh. 
Not dead. We didn't hear the... Didn't hear the gurgles. Alright. We're gonna just slide that guy right in our backpack. He fits in there nice and snug. We'll just can't carry him with us. <laughs> Person is panicked. That is. That's not good. So we got a couple guys running around here. No weapons or anything. I wish I could make them drop their weapons since they panicked. Oh, we got a... You can't see this guy from down there, surely. I guess maybe you can. Stay right there. I know there's at least one more running around here somewhere. Ooh. That's what a blaster launcher does. I guess that came from this floor, and I think they killed themselves. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's what I hate to see. Hmm. Okay. There's only one left. Trying to be sneaky up in here. May very well be just that one we left here. And that would be very good because he hasn't got a gun.
Oh. Okay. Did he, did he survive both of those hits? Sure did. He's hurting though. Alright, so there is one more running around in here somewhere. Not in here. And we may as well take care of this one. Howdy canoe. Did I already say howdy canoe? I don't even remember. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so dialed in on this thing here. Sorry. Just got here, okay. Where is this guy? Where is he gone? in here I don't know how long this guy's gonna stay asleep oh he's been outside all this time I thought there wasn't one out here <laughs> They've been good. Alright, that's it. Oh boy. Uh, six aliens killed. That's not many. I thought there'd be a lot more on a battleship. Seven corpses recovered. Two live aliens recovered. Maybe this is one we did we shot down. I see it's been too long. But no, it can't be, because all that Illyrium was still in there. It had to have been the landed one. But, man, look at all the Illyrium we got off of that. And the alloys. Man, we are rich beyond our wildest fantasies now. Psy strength gained. Psionic skill gained. That's all the stuff we want. So Phil Collins didn't get used that much this time. And we lost Olafemi. We overstretched our bounds just a tad, just a tad. I think next we might go for this. Might go take care of that base. And I have a feeling there's one over here in Africa as well. Anyway, uh, I bet we're way over our store limit here, yep. So how are we going to fix that? I'm going to sell some stuff first. 899 alien alloys is way too much. We need to ship some of this off to some of the other bases. That will help big time. Okay, okay. 
Definitely don't need that many alien surgeries. Certainly don't need this many alien entertainments. Alien food. Can't eat it. Don't want it. Eight power sources. We do not need eight power sources. <laughs> Snakeman corpses have been hanging around forever. Need that. We have these toys now. I think we've had some for a while. That's a lot of heavy plasmas. We're gonna be shipping some stuff off to some of the other bases, I think. Let's, uh... Transfer to Yucatan. Let's send them Our fifty alien alloys. We've got twenty. Let's send them. Illyrium just to keep. We got 20 plasma rifles. Heavy plasmas, I mean. Let's give them 10 more. And 15 more magazines. The game calls them clips, but they're magazines. Clips feed magazines. Magazines feed chambers. There's your lesson of the day. We need more smoke grenades. Let's get them. some of these med kits we've been building too. Let's give them 150 alloys. Give them 50 Illyrium. They also have... I can use some of these. Gives us some more room here at home, too. <clears throat> you beat Animal Crossing. Good job. Did you get your KK Slider concert? Alright, let's, uh, let's get this stuff transferred over. No. I don't want to build facilities. Dang it. It was very underwhelming, yeah. Not a lot happened. Um, let's get three more soldiers. I think I was still filling out my soldiers. Everybody here has personal armor. Mm. Well, once they get their once they get their stuff, they can have some personal armor. Build 
building here? We're just building money. How many? I have a tank, I have a hub tank plasma in reserve here. Do I want to go ahead and do this? I mean, I may as well. Do I have... Oh, I was building an extra hangar to send another interceptor. That's right. To send uh, this interceptor? No, it's already got a free spot. Is it this one? Yeah. Why am I building this extra hangar? Heck, I don't know. Um... Chance for that interceptor. Now build the Avenger. That'll be built in just about a month. Then I can... Oh, that's right. I was building that extra hangar so I could send the... the uh... Send our transport craft over there. Uh... Sectoid base. Are they gonna put a sectoid base down here? I mean, uh... Base down here, too. Holy cow. Intercept with... This one. Howdy, hamster. How's it going? Yeah, just go blow that up. There you go. That's what it needs. Just a little. All right. Uh, oh, we'd already done the sectoid, I guess. Okay. Um, this is our highest priority. Here. I flicked today. He didn't have, but didn't have any of the things. That's too bad. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. Um, we need a new soldier here because we had one die on us. He died. Let's put. Put this one in here. 
Everybody's still got a power suit, except Big Marge. How long is this? This is the original Big Marge. Of course, Big Marge hasn't been doing a lot of fighting lately. Big Marge is sort of just a... Just a stay-at-home commander these days. Yep, that's the one canoe bot. Alright, we're gonna do something interesting. We're gonna do a base mission. Because of social distancing, exactly. Social distancing from aliens with psionic capabilities, basically. She's paid her dues. She's put in her time. She is our highest ranking soldier, after all. Alright. Um, we don't really need... The smoke grenade is bad. See, the, sh the crappy thing about a base is it'll split your guys up. You know what, Philip Bailey the second. You're going back to being a gun toter. So we no longer need to stun and capture aliens. We've captured all the aliens we ever need to capture. Stun rods, stun launchers are all completely superfluous now. Um, I've added the P to let me know that those are acceptable by my definition, psionic troops. They're, they've got a high enough psionic rating that they won't be they won't be taken over by alien attack alien mind control very easily the the uh, the fuzzy dot I put on there means that they're available to wield a cyan they've got a high enough they they are They've got a high enough skill to wield a cyan. It's just a little shorthand I put in there to let me know that who's who and who can do what. So I don't have to remember. Breaks the immersion a little bit, but oh well. It is a thing. Okay, you're the one that needs this. Also, I need to remember to buy smoke grenades. Forgot to purchase smoke grenades. Alright. So here's the sucky thing about... About base missions. It puts you in... Two different locations. We are in an alien base. For the first time, we're attacking an alien base. This is an alien base on Earth. We haven't got the... The uh, Martian mission just yet. But we're going to do that soon. Not today. Maybe not for another couple weeks. But we're going to do that pretty soon. You two, we're gonna hang out in here. Epic Mickey's gonna hang out in here. The 
Wayne's going to hang out back here. Esteban's going to hang out back here. Here's the new guy. Another scary thing about a base mission is, like a battleship, they've got troops that carry blaster launchers. That's scary business. See Snake Man? He's hiding in this room over here. Snake Man, not really a big deal. You can generally take them over with one hit. You ever played those Mountain Blade games? Oh, I love the Mountain Blade games. Those games are a hoot and a holler. There's another friend right here. This one's probably right up in here. Yep. Almost always somebody right up in these, one of these towers. Uh, is there like a story campaign to go along with the combat? There's... I think they got some kind of story... Something to do with some kind of box or a chest or something. Um, I haven't really explored that that much. The original one didn't really have a story. It was just, here, you're an adventurer, here's a sandbox, go play. Go round up some troops and do whatever you want. Um, and that's kind of what I like about it. In this new one, it's pretty much the same, although there is some kind of story that they've got going on with it. Yeah, there's cute snake boys. or snake men. We well, don't have any guns. Can't hurt anybody. So we got these guys. This area is more or less safe for us to run around in. All he has is a stun launcher. He's no threat to anybody, not even us. But all the same, just throw that on the ground. Snake men pretty easy to take control of.
Even when you're not that powerful, psionically. one we've already taken over. This is like one of their little exhibit rooms. They got human skeletons and all kinds of... Looks like there's somebody's lungs in there. Pretty nice little collection they got going. Another one. Oh, he went back up in there in that jerk. That jerk. This canoe's place? Uh canoe would have to tell you. somebody wow they didn't kill him <laughs> how embarrassing I think he cased an amber have a good night hamster take it easy we'll talk at you later there's a bad man there's a bad man right there See if he, oh man, I hate it when I do that. Eight. I forget to actually click on these guys. This guy's going to die pretty soon. Two rounds. Three fatal wounds. Only four health left. Sorry, buddy. That's the way it is. Alright, let's start sending... Let's keep Philip Bailey back here. Let's send Nicole. It's probably safe enough. To send these soldiers out. I've cleared out the immediate area. Twenty-five. I got one more shot with this guy. Shiro. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, that was a grenade. Aw, oh, man. Blew up some of the cool stuff. Also... Might have blown up some weapons I wanted to have. I doesn't matter. We got so much money now, it doesn't matter. There's a bad guy we haven't seen before.
Oh, this guy's hurt. Yeah, he'll be dead soon. Can you see who threw that? You can. He's a mighty good thrower of things. Throw it through that window. Pretty impressive. Divest yourself of these implements of death and destruction. Repent. Now go up here. safe down here. I like that. But I want to try and mind control this guy. He's trouble. Snake Man Navigator. I'm not sure what you need to do any navigating inside a base, but whatever. It's his job. He's gonna do it. Uh, don't reserve those, because I think there's people I want to talk to in here. Now, well, actually, you go ahead and drop this. And he can't see anybody. Dang it. That sucks. Oh well. Oh, oh well. Alright, well here's this edge of the base. That's that edge of the base. This is going to be the command area over here, I reckon. Shut up, buddy. Sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, right. Forgot about that. It's gonna be chrysalids in here. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Sneak man leader with a blaster launcher. thing you got there. <clears throat> I'm rethinking. Rethinking my decisions here.
that crystal would go. That's my question. I might run an experiment here. Can I get a blaster launcher missile through a window? <laughs> Things can put down nine waypoints. Okay, uh, do it. How do I uh, do you? you tell it to go? There's a button right here. Mmm, they can go through a window. That's good to know. Why did it blow up here? Did it hit something? Did I actually make it go into a wall? We may never know for sure. Much movement you got left? Only 27. There better not be a crystal right over there. That would scare my pants off. Off of that. A lot of crazy stuff going on over here. Chrisley just about took the tank out. Can mind control a chrysalid? Why you would ever want to do something like that, I have no idea. Snake Man Engineer with a blaster launcher. take care of this problem right now. guy yes very good I want you to hide over here and just slide in right there Ok, 
Okay, that's aliens berserking. They're starting to take some morale hits. Which is very good for us. Really like to catch sight of some more. Now you just know there's more chrysalis hanging around out here. You know there's some bad guys in here. Snake Man Navigator with no weapon. You probably panicked. Yeah, I see you're half morale. You panicked and dropped your gun. I know what's going on. Probably had a blaster launcher on the too. Just trying to go slow and take care of my soldiers. the name of the game at this point. There'd be a chrysalid hiding right here. <laughs> that would suck, by the way. Some nice juicy targets right in here. Oh no. I cleared this place out. Okay. Never mind then. We'll just do the responsible thing, take care of him. guy went back to his post, I guess. I guess that's what happened there. Mm, okay. Satisfied with that.
I was sure there was going to be some people up there, but I guess all that's left is over in this direction. Yeah, there's some malarium over here. It's good. I'm going to keep that just like it is. Pretty sure this is just solid. I don't think there's rooms in there. You. Where'd you come from? I don't recognize you. Ha! A new friend. A new buddy boy. There you go. Oh, somebody dropped a blaster launcher over there. But that's good. <laughs> oh, a snake man commander. Nice. I mean... We don't need Commander anymore. Not now that we got, uh... Got that other one. Or how much different some of these games would be if we had DLC back then. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, back in these days, it wasn't DLC. I mean, it was expansion packs. Same thing, really. It's just that... Just a different name. And expansion packs were a little less convenient because you had to go actually go to a store and buy it. But pretty much exactly the same. And I don't think there was ever any expansions for these games. But man, they had a lot of these games planned. Terror from the Deep was after this one. And there were quite a few others. Um, they had a first, or was it a, it was a first person shooter plan that never got finished. Which I always thought was kind of a shame. But they were gonna just attack all genres with this universe at one time. Oh man, these guys just slithering up out of their snake hole over here. Look at them. Most of them don't have guns anymore, I bet. I was so scared they just threw them all away. So, ultimately, it probably wouldn't have been that much different, being honest. different method of getting that extra content out there. Set us up a little chain of possession here, these guys. We'll have this place cleared out pretty quick. Oftentimes there's like a cave area. I like this bit. 
but with like glowing green bits and stuff. But I don't guess we ran into that this time. You tuck yourself in this corner. Actually, tuck yourself in that corner. I wonder if this is the last of them. We may be about to find out. Nope, there's some more in here. Wow, it's just like a little tiny display room. There's not even a door in there. Oh, there's the cave area, right over there. Yeah, I knew there'd be something like that. That's what these guys are for. Stay right there. <clears throat> oh, man, one of them came up in there. Holy cow. Sneaky little bastard. <laughs> it's a good thing they're all losing their nerve. That might have been bad. thing I kept a uh... oh shoot Dang it. it's a good thing I kept a guy back as a guard too job done here. I thought there was another guy right around here. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. Wow. So used to that just hitting him and working the first time. That is a shame right there. Don't like leaving those flanks exposed, but not much to be done about it. Right, 
You can get one more shot off. There you go. That's been Phil Collins the whole time. Good. He hasn't getting but he hasn't been getting much practice lately. all of them <laughs> okay good deal seven aliens killed four captured live including a commander that we didn't need and another hundred delirium fancy something you can do is you can come in and bust up the delirium come in and abandon the mission grab that stuff pick it up Abandon the mission and just the next time you come back the delirium will still be there and you can just kind of farm this thing for delirium all day long But we really don't need to do that. We've got more of this stuff than we need at this point Yeah, here we go Yeah, they're pretty mad now Pretty mad indeed. <clears throat> That's way more blaster launchers than we need. That's way more everything than we need, being honest. Two of those behind. Kind of surprised there was only one chrysalid. four and a half million dollars off of that mission. <laughs> this base alone is costing us five million dollars a month. Total monthly maintenance is twelve million dollars. I think we're good. Got mine shields everywhere. Oh, except here. We don't have anything here. All right, let's check these guys out. I only strength 88. Pretty nice, to be honest. Nope. Not good enough. 75. Acceptable. Got two good soldiers out of that. As soon as these living quarters are done, we're transferring Big Marge down here. We want the main base to be nothing but 
soldiers who can take some psionics. Also, thanks for the claps. Canoe, we did it. It's all thanks to Canoe. Canoe support. All right, they want to do an alien terror mission down here in South Africa. That's fine. It's all thanks to Big Marge. Couldn't do it without Big Marge. Oh, it landed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Can we get the Sky Ranger there in time? That's the question. Also, while I'm thinking of it, I need some smoke grenades to replace the ones I've squandered. Um, electro flare stun rods, we don't need them anymore. We are out of the stun rod market. Don't you lift off. You stay right there. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. That makes me sad. Alright, living quarters are done. Let's transfer to Cape Town. Big Marge. Big Marge will lead from Cape Town. Now let's go down here to Cape Town proper. Order us up 19 more soldiers. Fifty engineers. We got a workshop going, yep, yeah, okay. Um I don't think we have any stores here yet. No, we don't. So actually let's build some more general stores down here. Why? I don't know. Just because. Hyperwave decoder is good. Alright, we're good here. Alien infiltration into Europe? Not a problem. One shot will take care of that problem right there. Big Marge has arrived at her new home. I expect she'll be happy there. Alright, new soldier here. Are they any good? No, they're terrible. You have to go home, I'm afraid. All right, Ethereal Commander. No new information off of that. Uh, we did need to get that done. Let's uh, let's just start going down the list now. Let's see if we can clear. Wow, look at all these guys. They'll probably never see a day of combat, but hmm, hmm. Ethereals again. Uh, you just 
peg that till it lands. We're not going to start a shooting match against a battleship. Do we want to do another battleship mission? I mean, we may as well. Right? Right? What's the worst that could happen? That's it. I think that's all I wanted to do. Oh, it's dark. Really? Man, I thought it was going to be light. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. this guy just drop it just put that right there <laughs> that's what you get first take a good look around okay good I'm glad I did that you just snuggle up right up against your buddy and his little egg he planted throw this over there <laughs> throw this over there Got one of these two. Put that in your hand. Don't prime it. Just throw it over there. going off over there. We don't want to stand too close. Matter of fact, let's just mosey on over this way. Step on, step aside. Let the shooting soldiers through. those two ethereals? Real? Sure didn't. Surprising. All right, where are 
are you? You're way up there. There's a lot of map over this way. That uncovered a lot of it. See, aliens have a much better range of vision at night than we do. They don't need fancy things like... Like flares and whatnot. Oh, he's got a blaster launcher. That's so much fun, though. So much fun. You. Not you. You shoot this here. Bring it up here. Bring it over here. And just end it right there. There we go. need to take that guy over at all. Not enough time to just drop that. That sucks. But we'll grab him soon enough. He's pretty hurt. That grenade did a number on him. What's for dinner? I, I'm probably just gonna make some chili dogs. I'm gonna wipe out the rest of the hot dogs I got. Let's use these guys as scouts. They're not gonna be long, alive very long anyway. Oh man, this guy's hardly hurt at all. 42 health, 2 fatal wounds. He's gonna be alive for 21 turns, holy cow. I don't think I like that. That doesn't suit me at all. This guy... Gonna be dead in six turns. That is acceptable. Still has a good bit of movement on it. Who's this are trying to hit? Cold. Only 73 strength psionics. That's uh, potentially troublesome. Okay, you got a blaster launcher, so. Oops. Come on, rise up. So 
15 points to reload that. Send it to explode over here. done with that. We've had enough fun. <laughs> Guess I'll have some cereal. Cereal's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Hmm. Sounds good. Canoe. I mean, cereal's pretty dang good. I could eat cereal all the time. Except I'm not... I, I don't eat cereal. Because it's not good for me. Alright, there wasn't anything out here anyway. My worry is there's some buildings over here. Oh, there's no other buildings on this map. I worry that there's a building over there. I do see an ethereal right here. Get down on the ground. Hmm. You know what? You're fine there. Actually, I'm just going to shoot. You. It is my belief that other than this guy who is going to die in like four turns, that there's only aliens inside the spacecraft. And they're working on the coal pretty hard. I don't appreciate, not one bit. Check and make sure nobody's hanging out up there. All of a sudden, he didn't want to. He didn't want to open his brain up to me. He's got eight health left. He's got enough health to get in there and take a peek inside. 
can be useful. I wish they'd stop that, though. They're not hitting her. That is good news. Not, not prying open her brain. Get into them juicy innards. Oh yeah, these guys. Forgot about those guys. And there are multiples. Last time there was only the one. Well, let's see what we can do about it. This one's got his butt to us. Okay. Well, that got something done. <laughs> Insectopods are n very, very difficult to mind control. Very difficult. That is unfortunate. Send him back down. Hook him out here so I can get another shot. So to speak. Back in there with you. There's, ah, good. There's somebody I can easily take. Easily make this one, my friend. As I was saying, it's not as easy as it looks. you take another look around go back down you got two more rounds left on you of usefulness to me now you surely you've got a grenade yes throw that right here Able to throw there. Okay, but you can throw there. Okay. That's got uh, that taken care of, I hope. At least do some damage to it. Now we 
We've got to hold one of these once before. his last turn alive. I thought there was a guy right here. It's not this guy. Where did he go? There he is. I just couldn't see. Rude. I wanted to peek inside that door. need anymore. takes to kill a sectopod. <laughs> All right, I'm a little sad we ran out of time units there. And he's still got that blaster launcher. But probably be able to run the coal in there. And grab him right back. Assuming that sectopod doesn't kill him. Which, there's a really good chance of that if I don't mind control it. But I was able to mind control it. So there you go. Can you shoot yourself, please? Are you shooting yourself? <laughs> I don't think he's shooting himself. That was a worthy experiment, anyway. Hmm, okay. Hopefully that's the only two sectopods we got. So I don't really want to have to deal with sectopods. Also, let's get Team 2 out of here. You know what would be cool? If you could customize the color of their armors. Because what I generally do at this point of the game, I've got like this team and this team. I could like make them red and make them blue. Then I've got a few size soldiers back there. I could make them like green or something. That would be so cool. And it would help me keep track of them. You can for a low price, $9.99. Actually, I can't. <laughs> Since there's no DLC for this game. Or, like I said, expansions, as they were called back in the day. Make sure there's nobody hanging around on top of this gigantic battleship. Somebody's shooting things up over there. Alright, you... 
This is foolhardy, but what can you see? You see way up here. Right there. Oh, come on, it's not that hard. You've done it before. There we go. There's even somebody in here with them. There we go. That's what we wanted. lay that down. Now if you would, just toss this over into the corner where it won't get blown up. If I could get you Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Just throw this over here. There you go. That way I can sell those. Now you skedaddle. Because that's about to blow up big time. Stop trying to mind control her. Probably because they <laughs> ran out of people with nothing to do. Can't you just open the door? Can't you just do that little thing for me? What? Oh! Thank you, Canoe, for that resub. Seven months, two months away from that sub, baby. Nearly there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you. Oh, don't. Don't blow up my tank. It's half dead. I mean, better than the tank, better the tank than the soldier, but just, you know, don't. Hmm, all right, you know what? Same deal. Prime it. Drop it. Throw it. You. Nothing. Oh, there's somebody right there. Oh, that's that guy that was injured. That's gotta drop the bomb. A grenade for me last turn. Let's see how hurt he is. Oh, he's pretty strong in the head. Got a thick skull. Okay. 
He's got another uh, eight turns in him, nine turns. Use that to our advantage. Probably won't see him again. He's good as dead. Huh. All right, no more room to move the tank around in there. We're gonna have to get a soldier in there. Don't want it to really be Nicole. May as well send the rookie in, right? The new guy? That's what he's for. <laughs> also, I don't like that they keep hitting you. I haven't broke you yet, but... see somebody right up there with a blaster launcher Anybody else? One sec. Oh no, we're not reserving that. You're uh you're getting out of the way of that blaster launcher. I don't know how far down that's going to go. I should have fired into the wall and not have thought about it, but it worked. Did its job. Just hope nobody sneaks up behind him. up against 20 turns here. They'll be coming after us soon. Oh, there goes somebody. Is that our injured friend? I think that was our injured friend, and he was the only one left. Alright, that was a lot quicker than last time. I did it a little differently. I did it a little less cautiously. Still got really good results. I felt like
like I didn't need to do it as cautiously because we already had everything we needed. And Phil, really racking up the size skill there, buddy. Wow, look at all the, we got new promotions because we got a ton of new soldiers. So that opened up some more promotions for us, which can be good and bad. All right, let's see what we got here. It is the 21st of October. May as well take it to the end of the month. Uh, we still got 20 days left on our Avenger. And we got a bunch more stuff to sell. Let's see, let's see. Ethereum Soldier, just sell him. Don't need him anymore. Get rid of all these. Wow, 700 Illyrium. We got Illyrium forever. Like, literally forever. I'm probably only going to use the Blaster Launcher on the last mission. <coughs> and only because it's funny to do so. Not because it's necessary in any way. I feel pretty sure we don't need these rifles anymore. Just don't believe those are necessary. As soon as those, wow, we just made six million bucks. Um, as soon as these stores are done, I'm gonna send them some extra stuff from here. Send them twenty heavy plasma and twenty magazines, I guess. And all of these personal armors. Actually I'm gonna send them a bunch of Illyrium and and uh, alloys and let them make their own power armor, probably. Probably what I'm gonna do. Give me some more room here. Alright, let's check out these guys. Two new rookies. This one's no good. Trash. This guy, freaking awesome. He can stay around. Mind Shield Ocean is done. That's great. Motion scanner. Sophisticated device uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer algorithms to identify moving enemy units. However, it requires some practice to use effectively. 
Um, this is a really early game item that I pretty much never use, ever. It brings up a little screen that basically shows... We're never going to research these. That basically shows uh, where movement is going on in the area. Rename the new guy whatever I want. You gotta come up with something. Uh, okay, let's see. The new guy. That would be this guy. We're gonna name this guy. Bumpus. McGillicuddy. There. Now he's got a name. He's a permanent member. Is that acceptable, Canoe? <laughs> we may as well get him on the Sky Ranger. Um, who's been problem? Who's been an issue? It's Captain Dwayne now, wow. Two colonels. Scary stuff. We might replace this captain. Actually, we're... Wow. Man, captains, that's... Uh, rough stuff. Let's get them off. Put these guys back on. And why don't we replace Ursula with Bumpus? We don't really want soldiers with really high ranks on a lot of these missions. <laughs> As if something happens to him, then the higher the ranked the soldier is, if they die, then dang it, well, I hate when he does that. The higher the rank of a soldier that we lose, the more morale gets lost. And if we lose like a colonel, that's like an instant morale check. And that's, that's trouble. That is big time trouble. All right, let's see. Um, let's get, uh, Valerie Galar. I don't remember this person being on the team. <laughs> Let's take these guys off. Let's put these on. Man, Rolf hasn't been on the mission in for freaking ever. Let's see. Who do we want on there? Two colonels, a captain. That's a lot of high ranks on there. But these guys, well, Philip Bailey does. Philip Bailey leaves the. He will leave the uh, ship to go fight. That's dangerous. But. These two guys don't, they stay on.
Let's see, who else we want on there? Now, once we get the Avenger, I think we can actually put more soldiers on, too, along with the tank. Or maybe we'll put another tank. Maybe we'll put two tanks on there. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let me get twice the tanks blown up. I don't know why I'm taking so long to figure this out. Um, Just throw this person on there, for sure. Since we don't have any more stars available. But all our stars... On there. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, let's make sure everybody's got a power suit. It would be awful embarrassing if we got up there. These people didn't have a power suit on. We name one of them can. <laughs> well, uh, it costs four thousand channel points to rename somebody. So you redeem those four thousand channel points. I'll rename your choice of them canoe. I know you got four thousand channel points, Skull. Can't get it for free. Everybody else had to pay. <laughs> Tempting, but you'll say, okay. A medium scout. Scouting for an alien base in the Pacific. I think, uh, that sounds familiar. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Just control that spot. Intercept with this guy. Oh, friggin' battleship. Okay, intercept. Oh my god, it's way over here. It's way over here. This guy, intercept. My god, he's going way over there. These guys are going everywhere. Turn to base. Turn to base. When they come back, there we go. That thing's still hanging around over here. There you go. You take care of it. Yeah, that's one of our... Let's... Okay, a large scout. It's one of the few incentives we've got. Now, where's that battleship? Supply ship. There's the battleship. That's the battleship. I'm not going to bother with the battleship. Man, these guys are all over the place today. Hold on, hold on. I didn't know he was in North America. Holy cow. Oh, it 
was in the water. That's sad. Sad times. Um. Dang, what are you doing? Okay, he left. He just went up and left the planet. And they they <laughs> they're overwhelming me here. I don't have uh, I don't have much to deal with all these ships. Snakeman Terror Ship, Southern Africa. Send contents to Constantinople base after. You can go over here. Intercept. Oh, we got a base in Madagascar. I knew there was going to be one in Southern Africa somewhere. I'm going to wait till I get the hyperwave decoder done so I can see who's in that base. Before we do anything about it. Alright, general stores is done. Now, we're gonna do some transferring. A lot of stuff. We're gonna give them 200 Illyrium. And 250 alien alloys. Also, going to go ahead and give them 20 heavy plasmas. Thirty rounds of ammunition. Good job. Uh, we still need this workshop to finish. Loader, alien retaliation. We're looking for our base again. Oh, I got our hyperwave decoders done. I just want to see what's in there. <laughs> All right, send this. God, if they had floaters attack the base, that'd be so hilarious. Ah, uh, it went into this little bit of water here. Dang it. All of our... All of our crash land missions are getting ruined. It's over the water again. Let it get over France, and we'll shoot it down. <clears throat> okay, this shouldn't take long. This shouldn't take long at all. Uh, I don't believe you get one of these. 
<clears throat> we got enough of those things. There's old Bumpus. Alright, you don't need this in your hand anymore. Size strings a hundred. We're giving old Philip Bailey one of these. It's gonna be our fourth. Size skill is only twenty six, but we'll get that up. Yes, sir. some practice straight off. Z needs it. He's not very good at that yet. guys outside. I want you to throw that. I want you to drop it on the ground. Why didn't I do it the same way? Oh wow, look at this. I've never seen this before. The door is blocked by a fence. Oh, you can slither up in there. Okay. Huh. Okay. I didn't think you could fit in there. I don't like being right up against the door, though. I don't like that one tiny bit. Super small map, nice. She's probably getting shot as soon as one pops out of there. Matter of fact, you scurry over here. Esteban, Epic Mickey, Dwayne the Rick, Bill Collins, oh, and uh, Philip Bailey's now the new guy with that. Okay. So now I got five size soldiers. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it's fine. It'll work out. We'll give him some practice and he'll be our backup. It's not very nice shooting at our tank. I mean, it's helpful that you missed, but I'd rather you didn't. 
Good job, Phil. You did it. You're so good at this. Stink man. You know what to do. Other stink man's right here. Philip Bailey's got another shot on this. That's fine. That's just fine. There we go. Uh, apparently, that explosion didn't kill the guy. There was no Illyrium to be had. <laughs> We're gonna go to the end of the month. Then we'll call it a night, I think. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Yep, this was bound to happen sooner or later. The Council of Nations, uh, the Council of Funding Nations are very pleased. We have a 5,764 rating, which is excellent. Everybody's happy, but India has been infiltrated. They've signed a secret pact with unknown alien forces and have withdrawn from the project. So they don't fund us anymore, even though we still got a boost of a million bucks. But I'm surprised it took this long, actually. All right, let's see. I got one Scilab slot, so we'll put Bumpus in there. Yeah, India, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. So these guys... They can't gain psionic strength anymore, but they can get psionic skills still. Wow, Phil got eight. That's a big bump for Phil. XCOM agents have located an alien base in Central Asia. I knew that was there. But I can't tell who is, what kind of aliens are in there. Pretty sure this is sectoids. Because it was a bunch of sectoid ships flying around here. Supplying that, I think. This, I don't remember who was supplying this. It might have been Snake Man again. I don't remember getting the notification that that finished. But okay, that's going to do it for today. We've gone through October. We're two months away from going the full year of 1999 in our war against the aliens. We've got how many bases? Four bases. I don't know that we're going to build another one, but if we do, it'll probably go down here in South America. But there's not really a point to building another base. Unless I just wanted to waste money. <laughs> but we got plenty of money coming in from our workshops. We've got almost all the research we need. We're probably going to run through most of the research that there is to have. Just for the hell of it. Um, we'll do we'll do blaster bomb. Probably won't do alien grenades or the pistol. We'll do these for the fun of it. We won't bother with the defenses. Uh, we won't bother with these corpses. We have to do Martian solution, and we won't bother with any of these really. 
We've already done these practically. We might do flying suits. There isn't really a big point to do the fly suits though. But the Martian solution is the last required research we have to do. Once we research that, and we have the Avenger, then we can em embark on the last mission of the game. I don't know if that's going to be next week. Probably not. Still want to play around with it. Do a few things. But probably within the next month, maybe. XCOM will come to a close. And we'll find something else to do with our time. Uh, here we go. This was scrimmed in. But thanks for hanging out, everybody. I had a good time. Hope y'all did too. I'm betting Snow was streaming. So I'm going to host Snow. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on out there on Twitch. Yep, sure enough, playing that Kingdom Hearts again. There yes, she does. Alright, everybody. Have a good night. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.